All right, guys, it is Field Trip Friday. Field Trip Friday time, and we are walking back home, and we are off to the Bonneville Racetrack. I guess it's Race Week today. I think they call it Salt Week or something like that. And I've actually never been out there. They say it's about a two-hour drive, and it's closer to the Wendover uh, side of town, or the I should say the Nevada side of town. It's closer to Wendover than Salt Lake is what I read but they're racing cars out there. So we thought we'd go check it out for... Field Trip Friday! Awesome. I mean, I, we're probably safe to take them off, yeah. to be honest. Why are we going in here? Because... Are we driving water around this? No, but are we allowed to? Yes. Yeah. Are we allowed to Yeah. Oh, I'm What's wet. that? Yeah, it's car wash. Amazing. Yeah. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Forget about the window. <laughs> All right, so when you arrive at the Bonneville Salt Flats, to get to where all the cars that are going to be racing are, you have to drive through this massive puddle of water, which looks like you're driving through an icy lake. It's really just salt water, and it's about a mile drive to where you start to see all of the cars parked, and then there's probably another mile of cars parked that are gonna be racing in the salt flat. So, check it out, you can see all the different cars that are gonna be racing in the salt flat as we pass them by. We drive all the way to the very end, and then turn around and come back. All right, we've arrived at the Bonneville Salt, Salt Flats. So, we've just drove down to the very end. It is huge as far as uh, the amount of cars and bikes that are here to race. Um, super long, <laughs> took forever to get to the very end, but we are now here at the end. There's no more cars going that way. They're all back that way. And uh, check out Check out the ground. Okay, look at this. It seriously looks like ice. Check that out. That looks like ice, but it's, there's water there, but it's, it's just, yeah, it's salt. This is all salt, look at that. Look at that, so salty. Wow. It's actually spectacular out here. Beautiful. Check out how beautiful this is. All the white. Looks like snow. Looks like literally we're driving on ice. Even though it's salt. Even though it's salt. All right, so here's something to think about when you go out to the Bonneville Salt Flats. Now for us, we went out on day one. When we looked online, today was the first day of the Bonneville Salt Flat races. However, what we did not realize and what it did not state on the website is that day one is simply just set up day, which is why you could see all the people setting up their tents, their trailers, and checking the engines of these cars. So unfortunately for us, we did not actually get to see any of these cars race. We did get to drive all the way down to the end to see all the different cars that would be racing and then turn around and then drive all the way back. and and uh, check out all the different motorcycles and automobiles that would be competing and racing during the Bonneville Salt Flats. But we didn't, unfortunately, get to see any of them actually race. So if you do go out, don't go out on day one. 
I'm not sure if it's like that every year. However, it was like that this year. So avoid day one or maybe call and confirm day one is just set up date if you tend to, if you decide that you want to go in the future. A couple things to think about is take some sunglasses. Uh, it gets very bright with the sun beaming down on you as well as the reflection off the ground beaming up. And some sunscreen is probably a good idea. I would also take a hat to block and reflect the light, uh, the sun from coming down on you. Uh, as I mentioned, with the white ground, everything is just super, super bright. So hat, uh, sunblock, and sunglasses are going to be a, definitely a good idea. All in all, it was an awesome adventure. We got to spend the afternoon there. We had lunch down there. We took lunch, so we had to, we got to eat our lunch down there and kind of just, like I said, check out all the different automobiles and motorcycles, which is pretty cool. And it was actually kind of pretty cool to drive through this uh, giant puddle, which looks like a lake that's got snow on it and it's frozen, but it's obviously just salt water. Uh, you do, though, want to definitely hit a car wash after you leave the Bonneville Salt Flats and wash all of the salt that's going to be all over your car. You're going to want to wash the underneath of your car as well if you can. Uh, salt gets everywhere as you drive through this massive puddle of salt water. So I hope you liked it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them down in the comment section below. And just wanted to thank you so very much again for watching.